Hi guys, I am so excited to share a recipe with you today. It's one of my favorites. It's skillet chicken with a roasted red pepper basil sauce. It really is embarrassingly easy. You need a blender, a skillet, and a handful of ingredients, and this is on the table in about 20 minutes. I love it so much. Pantry staple friendly, and you can customize it with dried herbs, fresh herbs, and you'll see why I love it so much as soon as you see how easy it is put together. So I'm gonna show you how to make it right here. I got this little handy um, countertop cook uh, little burner so I can show you how to make it right here. So I've got my blender out and in the blender is going to go, I have a 12 ounce jar of roasted red peppers. They are water packed. They are super easy to find in the grocery store and super affordable. I think this was $2.50, something like that. They used to be pretty expensive and in the international food section, and now they're right there in, you know, with all the other um, like pickles and olives and things like that. That's where I found it. Look at that, this is one big, huge pepper. Obviously, if you want to roast your own, save this. This makes great salad dressing, this liquid in the bottom of the jar. Um, so if you want to roast your own pepper, feel free. Um, I like to have them, seed them, put them skin side up under the broiler until they're blackened. Then you put them in a plastic bag to steam until the black skin comes off. Boom, you've got that too. And this is about one whole large red pepper. That goes in there, okay? And then you need about a quarter of a cup of chicken broth or vegetable broth, whatever you have. You can also use water because we've got so much flavor, so much dynamic flavor, you are okay using water. And then on this little plate, I have a teaspoon of dried oregano. I have a minced garlic clove. You can also use a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder or a half a teaspoon of dehydrated minced garlic, which I also love. And a quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder, which um, adds great flavor also. So this little dish has those three things. Boom, that's it. You can see why it's pantry staple friendly because you could use oregano if you didn't have basil. A pinch of thyme could go in there. A little salt and a little pepper. And there's your sauce. I mean, could it be any easier? My blender's loud, so I'm not gonna talk over it. I'm just gonna quickly give this a whir. You see how quickly that came together? I love it. And not only is it, look at that color. It's a beautiful sauce with that beautiful red pepper color. Um, and then it simmer, it braises the chicken in this skillet um, and gets even thicker and richer as it cooks. So, boom, sauce is finished. If you wanna prep ahead, make the um, blender sauce, put it in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours, and then you just have to sear the chicken and go to town. So on this um, hot plate, this burner, I have a tablespoon of olive oil already preheated in my large skillet. And um, I have three chicken breasts, because there's three of us tonight. So you could do four chicken breasts. Um, if you've got the super large ones that are eight ounces each, I have started now having them crosswise like, a like you're having a bagel, and then having four smaller pieces um, but in this case, these are about four or five ounces each. So I've seasoned them with salt and pepper and um, they're just gonna go right into the skillet. That's already hot. And the trick is to definitely have an already hot skillet to sear. And what you want to do is lock in the juices of the chicken, A, and then B, you wanna make sure that the chicken doesn't stick. So a hot pan sears the outside, gets a wonderful caramelization on the outside of the chicken, and it ensures that when you go to flip it, it's not gonna stick. So I am going to give this a minute or two on this side, and then I'm gonna flip the chicken and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, my chicken is about ready to flip. I can see uh, coming up the side, it's starting to get golden brown on the bottom. But I wanted to tell you that I made a mistake. On this little plate, it was dried basil. It's called a roasted red pepper basil sauce. And I said oregano. However, oregano would also work and be equally delicious, but you just have to change the title of the recipe. So, dried basil or dried oregano. Now that we have that cleared up, I am gonna flip the chicken. Uh, yes! 
golden brown and it left nice little bits. There's a chicken, see that? Yay, that's why I like this little burner. So uh, give us a quick sear on this side. Um, and what I love is that these uh, little brown bits in the bottom of the pan are gonna be incorporated into this sauce. So it adds depth, it adds a nuttiness, it adds a caramelized flavor that just gives layer upon layer um, to every sauce you make, which is why I love pan sauces because you start with a quick sear and then you are left with all these goodies in the bottom of the pan that you can incorporate into the sauce. So that said, I am ready now for this beautiful roasted red pepper basil sauce. And that's gonna just go right in with the chicken. And it starts to simmer right away because the pan is hot. And you guys, that is literally it. Now you wait eight to 10 minutes, the chicken is gonna be cooked through and super moist and tender because it's braised. So it's seared to lock in flavor, create caramelization, and then it's braised to make sure that it's super tender and juicy. Um, I, truth be told, have let it go for 20 to 30 minutes when I've had, you know, I'm like, I'm just gonna put this on the stove, put it on low and go walk the dog. So it can sit if you are doing side dishes that aren't ready and you want this to sit, just turn it down to low, put a lid on and let it go until you are ready to serve. And um, this is gonna wow everyone. So I'm gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna pop a lid on partially. So if you ever see, um, a recipe say partially cover, literally just partially cover. You can see that there. Um, like a little askew would be how you would um, put the lid. And then in about 10 minutes, the chicken's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna grab some of that fresh basil back there, sprinkle it over top, and I'll show you what it looks like um, once it's all adorned. And uh, we'll take it from there. Stay tuned. The chicken is simmering away, it's almost ready. What a beautiful dish. And there you have it, my skillet chicken with roasted red pepper basil sauce. Looks fancy, couldn't be easier, totally customizable, made with pantry staples, healthy, gluten-free, ready in minutes. I mean, there's so much to gush about. I love this dish, I hope you try it. Um, and if you do, let me know. I love comments and, um, and feedback, that would be great. And if there's anything that you want me to make, maybe a recipe that you want reinvented, I'd love to do that too. So um, subscribe, leave comments, and I'll see you soon.